She was only a year and eight months when they came and told us that it's actually hepatoblastoma, which is liver cancer. I just thought it was the end. After the chemo, she had to go and get her surgery done and we went from this professor to that professor and we got rejected because they were like, she will not make it off of that operating table. Dr. Loveland was the only doctor that was willing to take that risk to save my child's life. Jerome came as an angel. He said, no, let's focus on saving the little one's life. When we practice pediatric surgery in South Africa, and particularly at Barragwanath Hospital, every day that we come to work, we have a massive impact on the often poor communities that we serve. Our granddaughter Lubabalu was saved. Here she is, she's alive. Only a brave doctor can do what he did. Surgeons for the Lives is a charity that we started because the clinical burden of paediatric surgical disease when I arrived at Paraguanath Hospital was, was absolutely enormous. He's exceptionally hardworking. He takes on lots of responsibilities. He takes on many challenges. He wants to make things better for the patients that we treat. We launched it five years ago. It's been massively successful ever since. We've raised well in excess of 50 million rand. I remember asking him this question. Now, Doc, how much do you think it will cost? And the answer I got was so amazing. He said, please, for now, don't worry about any costs. All what I want to do is to save the life. He is really a good man. He loves what he does, and he's so committed. Yeah, Bara, the doctors do well, and I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I feel like my thank you is not enough, because he gave my child her life back. We make a difference to our patients every single day. That's where the passion originates from. I think this is what every South African should be doing in some or other manner to contribute to our society.